One of the more overlooked upgrades that Squarespace made last year was the updates to the site header and the fact that you can make a myriad changes to the actual styling of that header. And one really cool thing that they did was that they allowed you to use a drop shadow on the header. And I'd been using this for ages, probably a couple of years before Squarespace brought this in natively. And before that, you had to use CSS to construct a, a drop shadow under the header. And so when they did this, I was, I was buzzing, which sounds really, really sad to say, but I was very happy. And this just meant that it was so much easier to add this to client sites. And it basically just sped up the process of building out MVPs. So what I want to show you is a really quick tutorial on how to add that drop shadow to your website's header. To add our drop shadow, what we need to do is go into edit. And then we're going to hover over our header and you can see that it, this says edit site header. So we click on that and then we need to go into style. So when it's dynamic or when it's theme, we're not able to add a drop shadow. We can do it with code, but we just can't do it natively. So we either need to be on a gradient like this or solid like this. And you can see the drop shadow is actually already um, enabled there. But let's imagine it wasn't. You can go style, and then once it's solid or gradient, we can go down to drop shadow, hit toggle, and then it's on. Then we can change the color. So this actually can be anything you want and you can change the opacity. So you can go into custom, you can change that. And then you can change the opacity in here as well. I'm just gonna stick with standard black. And then if you see, we can change the spread. So the higher the value, the lower it goes on the page. And the lower the value, the higher it goes on the page. Easy peasy. Let's put this at 10. And then the distance is how far it stretches again down the page. So if you wanted to do 50px distance plus 100px spread, you can see you get this ridiculous shadow. I would say around 10 and then probably zero on distance, to be honest. Then the blur is basically how saturated that color is. So if it was zero then you can see it's, it's literally just a solid, um, maybe it looks like a five pixel line and it gets more and more blurred as we go up. So let's say 30, that seems about right. But once you're happy, just hit save, exit, and that will allow you to see the drop shadow properly. So you can see it just differentiates the header nicely from the page below. I really like a drop shadow on the header just because it adds a little bit of depth to the page. And you can see as we go down, it just really highlights the header and makes the user aware that the header is still there. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.